Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's cold, not like so cold, like freezing, like icy like it was the other day. But I don't know if you can tell, but nobody wants to go out today. They're <laughs> all standing in the shelter because it's cold. Minis are all having a chance to eat with no horses running them off. Cause these guys are like, too cold, Laura. But look at Storm, you're getting fluffy-ish. Wow. What is that? I hate that they get little cuts on them. Look, you can see my shadow. Wow. Harpin, I love you too. Don't come over, I'm leaving. Anyway, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Storm. Look at the muscle. They're so muscly, yeah. And stop getting bit. Stop fighting. Oh, <laughs> that's his one thing he loves more than anything. His neck scratched, that's his spot. He will stretch and watch when I walk away, watch what happens. <laughs> He's like, don't stop, Laura. Anyway, welcome to today's video. This is my baking hair. Today is the day before Thanksgiving for us. And I have a lot of baking to do, a lot of cooking to do. When that happens, I have to put my hair up because I don't get paranoid. I'll probably even put a hair net around me. I get paranoid of food, hair going in the food when I'm serving it to other people. Why'd you get up? I wanted to show them your bed. Let's look. So Sam says like, that's a lot of hay, straw, but it's not. I don't know. It's hard to tell on the camera. Let me see. Sleep in the same spot right there. What? He sleeps in the same spot. I don't know. He might've slept in that corner. No, I don't think he did. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a way to help them see his bed. You can't see like the depth. That's one thing about cameras. Anyway, we think he slept in the exact same spot. What's that though? Oh, that's his blanket. So his blanket, oh, he slept on his blanket, I think. And he slept in there. Sylvia and I came down last night to give the cat food. And can you give him his water? Anyway, we came down to give the cat food because he ran out. So we saw that when we were doing chores. So then we came back down without the camera and we gave him food. We had to get some from the house. So we came down and gave him food and it was like dark out and the goats and the pigs were in for like an hour and they were surprised to see us. They didn't know what the heck was happening. But what was so funny was that he was out there making a bed. <laughs> she was having a piggyback ride a second ago. But it was so funny, like he was so busy. He had his head under there and he was digging tracks through all that straw. Come on, out you go. It was hilarious, like we loved watching him. And then we came down to see what uh, Posey did with all her hay. And we couldn't even see her, that's her nest. She was under her blanket, like you couldn't even tell a bump. Couldn't even see that she was there. Come on, Posey pig. Come on, Posey pig. Time to go, little baby. For some reason, this guy pooped in his bed last night, in his stall. He doesn't usually do that, but if anybody's gonna do it, it'll be him. Hey, you get out of his feed because I don't want you having that. That's not for you. Drinking the pig water. Yesterday I came down here to do some things and I just sat. Like sometimes I just come and sit down here. I just sit. <laughs> look how cute they look. And this guy was fighting me, like wrestling with me and like so close to me and friendly. He was friendly. He just needed to have a good breeding season under his belt and he got friendly. Don't drink all that water, Winston. You got to drink the higher up water. They also have a big bucket in their stall, which they can get to easily. We put lots of water out for everybody because water is so important. Water and food. Once an animal doesn't get enough water or it goes off their feed, that's when illness and disease happens. And it's the same with us. If we're like not getting the nutrients and the vitamins we need, then the same thing can happen to us. We can get sick. All right, so we are headed off. I'm just waiting on Sam. Breakfast, my banana. Do you guys know like all fruits and all vegetables, even if you just like start your morning with one, they have so much vitamins and so much nutrients and so, so much good in it. So Sam and I always eat eggs for breakfast because we have a lot of eggs. And I always eat a piece of fruit with it too. We're headed out to get all the rest of our grocery stuff, like all the rest of our food stuff. It's also Jacob's birthday, so I need to get a birthday card for him because I'm gonna give him money. The big kids are big enough now that I give them money. Brooklyn and Jacob. It's his birthday 
this week. Him and Sophie have a birthday like six days apart. This weekend, we have to figure out a way to keep the chickens in. So you guys know, we open the back door in the morning. The chickens go out into that field that's all fenced in. And then all the ones that are like the newest ones that we that we added this year, it's because the old ones like still pick on the new ones. Like it's just the, the way that it goes. So the newer ones, like the turkeys and those black chickens and the guineas, their own little, they're their own little flock. They hop the fence. And then the ducks also hop the fence. Wait, the ducks crawl underneath the fence. But anyway, they all, that whole gang, hops the fence a friend was over yesterday just to drop something off and literally our turkeys surrounded her at her car and they tried to go in her car with her they wanted to go they're like hey they're so friendly that whole group is so friendly and most people like really get a kick out of it but it's the most annoying thing Sam it's the most annoying thing when people like come over and then turkeys are like trying to get inside their car it's just awful on top of their car yeah, or if they went on top of their car. Like, I'm always worried they're going to go on top of their car. So I'm always, like, shooing them away. And I literally need to carry food in my pocket so that I can throw it. So when people come over, like, when my grandkids come tomorrow, it's going to be like, welcome to the funny farm. Because they're not even going to be able to get out of their car without being surrounded. <laughs> Which would be, like, amazing for me. But they might be scared because, I mean, they all know our animals and they're all good with them. Brooklyn might be a little freaked out, but yeah, these ginormous turkeys standing at your door saying, hello, can I, can I come with you? Like, it's annoying. Like, my friend yesterday was so excited. She was like, she's just standing there at her car, and they were all surrounding her. Like, this little gang of turkeys and chickens surrounding her, and they're all chirping and like, hey, can we come with you? And she's like, <coughs> they want to come in my car. And we're like, oh my gosh, like... It's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. So we're gonna fix it so that they can't get out, which means that you have to fix the area for the turkeys to go out in the winter. And then we're gonna make the area for the chickens a little bit warmer. We're gonna wrap all that in in plastic so that at least it's warm for them. But yeah, it's crazy. Chickens are crazy. There comes a time in a free ranging chicken's life where they get closed up for winter. So it's that time, it's that time, Sam. You ready for it? So on top of like our family and birthdays and Thanksgiving and family and friends and apple orchards and all the fun stuff, we still gotta be like working on the farm, <laughs> dealing with the turkeys. We are home and I heard the sound that always warms my heart, the chirping of little baby chicks. Check it out together and see, oh, I see them already. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Uh oh, <laughs> she just flipped over. That's gotta be a boy. Oh my goodness, look at you. I need to put some more water in there. Now that I've opened it, you're so cute. So two new baby chicks. Honestly though, God has such an amazing plan. My grandkids are all coming in the morning. Well, they're coming tomorrow, maybe not the morning, but they're coming tomorrow. And one thing that they love are brand new baby chicks. So the other ones are a little bit bigger. They are going to be obsessed with these. Anyway, we're home. So much to do, you guys, to get this far away. So, so, so much. So girls are still sleeping. We're gonna wake them up. It's time to get the house ready, the food ready, and the farm ready. So you won't believe this. I gave the girls a choice. I said, okay, we have to clean the farm and we have to clean the house. And the house is like a big job. I said, what do you want to do? Clean the house. Clean the house or clean the farm? The farm just means the, I just want like dog poop picked up and pick the house. horse picked, poop picked up. They picked the house. They picked the freaking house. Good, because I hate the house. I know. <laughs> I like the house, but I don't want to be outside. I love cleaning the the farm, like the farm is the farm. All right, show me what you're up to. Fixing that, that turkey coop so they can be locked in tomorrow. Oh, so is that what these are for? Love these. Oh, those are for the other side of the chicken. These are for the, to go over the windows of the chicken coop. No, not the windows, but the other. <laughs> oh. So we always buy pop for my one niece, pop for all the kids, cause this is the kind they drink. And then, obviously, we buy water. I also bought something special for my grandkids that I think they'll get a kick out of, especially the boys. Maybe the girls, too. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. Whoa. 
love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is literally the best. All right, so do you want to take that thing down to the goat barn today? Yeah. That big wood thing? Uh, not right now. I'm doing the chicken coop. All right, well, when I'm done cleaning the horse poop. You can help with that, too. Yeah, we'll all help you. Um, so the reason that we have to clean the farm and the house is because my family always wants to come out onto the farm. And the more animals we get, the more like exciting. The more See, I'm needing to like oil that. The more animals we get, the more exciting it is for the kids to come out onto the farm. So, city people do not love walking like through horse poop. These are all the things that I have to get ready. I got my wheelbarrow, my pitchfork, and I have my trusted tripod. Somebody without ADHD would take the time to put that down for the five steps it's gonna take us to get where I want it to go, but because it's me, I just throw it in there. And because it's me, it'll just fall out. Hi, Gracie, hi, Gracie girl. Let's get started, you guys. Let's clean this farm. Wouldn't lie to you, didn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me. You guys know how they say blondes have more fun? Well, it's because they're more adventurous, man. Always into everything. Gracie. <laughs> Stop. She's like, I'll just go through this door that you she's like, I'll just go through this door that you went and eat the grass. When we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the weekends, dancing in her red dress. And I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I'm feeling like. Where's your friend? Hey, where's your little friend? Did you lose her? All right, I'm already tired. It's because I'm hot. It's hot out here. It's actually kind of hot. When you're working, it's hot. Oh, Ellie is missing. But look at our round bell. It holds five horses. Oops, it looks it holds five horses. Always one man out. Somebody said that we need to put another one. The one Sam made, obviously, is not, is not standing up very well because that one pole is falling over. Ellie had a bath this morning because she rolled in something. It was disgusting. You guys, there's something behind me here, right behind me. Let's see, can you see it? Do you guys see it? I can't see in the camera, it's too bright. There's something back here though. Oh, I hear it. I swear, it's like right behind my head. As long as I live on this farm though, and as long as we have animals, I always get, like my favorites always change. Over time, my favorites always change. And this is one of my favorites. She was a bit wild in her second year of life, but now that she's nearing her third year, she's literally such a dream pony. She's affectionate, she's sweet, and she's level-headed, and she's an Appaloosa. And she's also like, calm and relaxed and just friendly like she's just such a sweet little blessing to our life and she's cute she can let her hair down but got her feet on the ground i can't get enough of her she can drive me so wild just with that sweet smile and there's nobody else for me hi girlfriend you coming to see me you're my favorite too. She doesn't like to be too close to the horses. <laughs> See? <laughs> be nice to my puppy. 
In the past, I've told Ellie I'll protect her, and goats have rammed her and me at the same time. So she's a little wary. Being on my lap, being this close to the horses, she knows. But the horses are good. Hey, you're good. All right, now everybody wants to come and visit me. Hi, Stormy boy. I feel sad for Storm. The only reason I feel fat, sad for Storm is because he really enjoys the... <coughs> He really enjoys a masculine relationship. He really loves having a boy horse around. That's it, we're done. My last pile, and then we're out of here. It literally took me five wheelbarrows this time, you guys. That's a lot of poop. Well, let's go check on Sam, boy. So, how's it going? Good. You almost done? Oh, it's gonna look good. This is the thing that we're gonna take down to the goats. It's this big, was our chicken brooder? I don't know, maybe we should save it for our chicken brooder. So it's our chicken brooder. We're gonna flip it upside down and use it for the goats to climb on. Because if you've been following our videos, you'll know that there's a fight, a toss up between the two top goats that we have. Basically they both want this one stall because it has elevation in it and they like to be up high. So we're gonna try and even that out a bit, but let's go inside, check on the girls. Who thinks that they've been just resting this whole time? And who thinks Ellie needs another bath? She had a bath this morning. It's good in here. Living room, dining room, kind of clean. The kitchen's not clean. Secret life of teenagers, you guys. They're playing dress to impress. He's out here grilling. Cooking some burgers. Grilling some burgers. We're waiting for Sam to fix this brooder up here and put something on the ground because they can't keep shavings in there because uh, they just fall through the bottom, the floor, into the coop below. So anyways, I ended up snaking some of that straw from the pigs and put it in here and they are loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's like mental stimulation. She's building a nest. It's warm <laughs> They're able to do like all sorts of things with it So I put it all out here and I'm gonna let them figure it out with that little black and white ch chicken. Oh My gosh, she's so cute. She flew out when I was putting it in there. I had to catch her. She's a chunky little thing But she's so cute Like the white on her is so cute. I don't know where she came from. Well, actually I do, she came from the mean boy chicken, the mean boy rooster, and then probably the barred rock. So cute though. I love when I come out of the chicken coop and then there's like a hundred dogs out here. Whoa, those two are terrible together. They're best friends, but Kirby can dominate Ellie like that. And Ellie does not like it. Ellie is a dominating personality. So they fight and then, over here in the poop pile. Daisy, get out of the poop. See, she can't hear me. Daisy, hi, get out of the poop. Come on, go, go. Get out of the poop. Get out of the poop. <laughs> you see how that works, Ellie? You can fit underneath the fence and nobody else can. You can't fit under. Come on. Wow, even I'm impressed. I love it. Some things can get in, like those little weasels can get in. Oh, wow, it's like sturdy. I love it. I don't know that any of the chickens like it because they're all not out here. There we go, there we go, you guys. I like it. So this is gonna be the area for the turkeys. And okay, so there's three chickens there's like a little group there's a there's like a little group of friendly animals friendly chickens and this is where they're going to live in the winter time because they're not going to be free range because animals chickens can't be free range in the winter there's not enough food for hawks and stuff to eat in the winter so they go after chickens more we haven't lost a single chicken to any kind of like predator i'm happy about that but yeah that's gonna be it I love it. He did such a good job. I'm so proud of him. I hopefully it stays. Oh, he's got some wood on it. 
That's amazing. So it's not for nighttime, just during the day. It's glorious out here. It's cold. Like you have to wear a sweater. So nice, but it's nice. So we all love it. Will it stand up all winter? Yeah, we love it. Not one ch single chicken is in there right now though. Oh, they were all in there earlier. Oh, were they? There's like this total competition for my love between Daisy, Ruby, and Ellie. So Ellie, Ruby, Daisy climbs up on me. She does that to me all the time. Like she's just always on top of me and if anybody else comes near, she growls. Because she doesn't want anybody else on me. Does she growl when any other dog goes near you? Yeah, that she never ever goes up to you. Yes, she does. She does. Oh, does she? Yeah, she's definitely our most affectionate dog. My heart starts racing every time I'm looking at her. She's my country girl.